I think I should switch back side 1260. Yeah, I didn't think so either. I'm a 1080 it. No? What? Should I 180 it? Probably not. Oh, backside 3. I'm gonna kill it. You don't think I will? Whatever, whatever. I'll kill it. How long you been there for? It's like one of those dreams where you're falling from a building, you're falling from the sky, and then you wake up right before you hit, but I did not wake up. My place. So this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Get out of here. Yes. Ridiculous. Right now. Ridiculously sick, son. What movie is Do I still this? look tough when I'm wearing baby blue? He like flips out and throws his board and punches his board and punches himself in the face. But it's funny because he's probably like the nicest person you would ever meet, you know, but he's like kind of crazy when he's snowboarding. I love it, dude. Because you just know when you ride with Pat, you're going to see a show. I always just wait for Pat to like not get a trick because I know he's gonna just explode. Oh, oh, are you angry, huh? Are you mad? You want a tissue, huh? You want to yell? You didn't get your trick first try. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, it's not your fault for falling. It's it's the board's fault actually. Get mad at your board because your board didn't land the trick. Yeah, throw it around, beat it up. Yeah, punch yourself. Don't do that because that hurts. You think you're good because I won the Junior Jam five years ago, and now I can film pathetic video parts and get away with it. Before you 
maybe the people who are watching the, the video at the end of the year won't know that you put a lot of effort into it, but like you'll watch that movie 10 years down the road and be like, I remember that. I remember bashing my face and my head on that backside 180 to <laughs> gap rail or whatever. <laughs> Uh, we're just uh, taking some laps here at the local mountain. Last winter we had a record amount of snow in Quebec City, where I live. So I pretty much spent the whole season filming out there. Oh, dude. When I was younger, soccer was the main thing in my life. It was all I could think about. I was already playing violin at this time. I started doing concerts with the symphony in Quebec City. And then snowboarding became more important. I think I found snowboarding when I started being able to think about tricks or just think about something I want to do and being able to just do it right away. That's. I think that's the point where you find snowboarding. You get addicted to it and you just can't think about any, anything else. This is what happens when you hit rails against walls. <laughs> I wasn't used to uh, jump off cliffs and step downs like that. You know, I'm kind of used to uh, know how to deal with the street stuff. I had stayed there for uh, maybe like two or three weeks in Whistler and maybe got one shot. And then I thought, yeah, if we go to Quebec, I'm just gonna rack some more shots. That was dirty, fool. Throw that shit away. What? Ah. I'm sick of helping everyone, man. Nick wants me to put powder down here, make him a nice soft landing. So I'm gonna give him that little soft landing that he begged for. Yeah, it's all ready, dude. I threw a grip of pow in the landing. So all the guys on the team this year, you know, really grinding and trying to take that spotlight. I'm not gonna let that happen. So, you know, I had to do a few things that might put their life in danger. And uh, if it did, I don't care. It just makes me rise to the top faster. He's the funniest kid, dude. And he'll go out of his way to make sure everybody's laughing. But then sometimes he just goes too far and you just wanna beat his ass. That's just how it goes, and that's Kennedy, you know what I mean? most talented kids I've ever seen in my life. Sometimes he just doesn't want to snowboard, but when he wants to snowboard, it's on. Double 
white goose, dirty martini. I'm out Google with the lamp, I'm the genie. Can't do the chingy, but I sizzle with the woman. Sick drizzle on them. Man, I'm too bad. Going off two bags of rappers and light. Not that shit that you had. Don't fuck push it. Hot now I push it. You got thing long in your head, I push it. Push it, push it real good, I feel good. You know, pass the back so I can unfill wood. I make hits, not pop flies. And wear more ice than boxers with black eyes. Now don't tell them bitches that I'm going to the party. Cause if I tell them bitches, hold the tail, everybody. My Lexus app about the Nakamichi. I'm in the shoe store trying gators when you see me. You don't speak, I hit Vegas for a whole week. I try to catch the tears that be coming down my son's cheek. You praise Ron King, I like Don King. I'm getting money and ain't even in the damn ring. I turn around. Sirens always tell broke bitches that pimps is hiring now. So take a photograph or write a paragraph. The homie begging, I can see cause he wear a flag. I hit the energizer bunny with a during sale. I hit Wilson's on time for the leather sale. I grab two blunts straight out the swisher box. Gotta get the same brush a shooter get from a Glock. My shoes wrap my socks. I like to have a nod. My old crack neighborhood was called bedrock. We like to fight back. You need to like that. This church preacher about the Bible of a rap cat. I keep it moving like hoes that's choosing hit. Privilege in the sea with a mother in the afternoon. I run through the city like it's grand larceny. Don't hit the after party, bitch. What's stopping me? I dress properly. Who try to copy me? I hang with pimps that say niggas never knocking me. I like to talk trash, especially when I walk fast. Moving through the airport with my blue polo bag. Yeah, that piece of food. Where'd that come from? <laughs> He's fixing the landing. <laughs> what? Save the shit out of <laughs> oh, oh, shit, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Dude, sorry, I didn't even see that, man. <laughs> no, I'm always here to help you. It happened so fast, and it hooked into the wood. Oh, I can't feel like my whole face or my knee or anything. All of a sudden, in like a split second, like that one little shift of your board, it's just like, oh my gosh, this is going to really phase my video part. For me, when I get injured, I'm just trying to like do something so that snowboarding isn't like just knocking on my head. And that's the hardest part about being injured is because you can't do that one thing that is like drilled into your mind. simple joys of things and and love skateboarding and snowboarding to heart. Okay, me on E? Okay. I'm fucking pickle. <laughs> I fucking love techno music. For the last 10 years I've been in forum, I've seen a lot of people come and go. A lot of ups and downs, but I think this year we got a really good vibe going on again. You can feel the vibe, man. It's coming straight at you. 
Can you feel it? <laughs> The best way to describe Malmi is just like kind of controlled chaos. When you go on a trip with him, you'll only see him when it's dinner time, time to party, or time to ride. Other than that, he's locked up in his hotel room making fucking techno beats on his computer. You walk in, he'll just like, boom, 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 on his computer. John Jay, I mean, he had a rough year this year. He's, he like never gets hurt. Probably should have hit the first thing that I originally thought I was gonna blow myself out on. It was good riding before and after he got hurt. How's that? Yep. Yeah. She's good. I think that that's important in snowboarding. Cause you know, you, you have fun with your friends. Me and Blavo just shredding. For early season, that was some good, good times. Oh, shit, and double Frankies. <laughs> Fishing is like what I find to be similar to snowboarding. All you're thinking about is what you're focused on in your mind, like everything else fades away. Or like riding powder, you're kind of at peace. You're like, you're, you're just in your own realm, your own world, and that's how it is on the river.
rusty, but you know, I'm back on my game, so you know what I mean? Stevie's crazy, dude. He's so hyper and pumped up. Just everything seems new and fresh to him, but that's how he always is. Oh, hey, son of a bitch. Caught me right in the middle of practice. I mean, uh... <laughs> It's been a rocky road, but it's just been like whatever, you know what I mean? People are talking shit, stereotyping, like, oh God, he's only pro because he's black. That shit right there just makes me like, dude, I'm, I'm gonna keep it rolling. Like, I'm only gonna get better. I'm gonna start working harder. My understanding of what it takes and like what I want with my career, I've just figured it out. So this is just the beginning for me. I'm stoked on Stevie. He's just putting his time in. It's good to see. He's working hard. I just love to have fun. I hate being sad and I hate being mad. And I hate people moping and shit. It's like, dude, life is short. Enjoy it. Enjoy what you got. Have fun. Just Let's get the paramedic to have, I don't, have a look. I don't want him. I'm fine. You're white as a ghost. I had the worst feeling about this rail. We were just warming up on some stupid rail, like just such a stupid rail, like just a normal down rail, maybe like 30 stairs, whatever, and just blew his knee right there on the spot. Like happened like that, and it was super quick. I thought things couldn't get any worse at that point, you know? Snowboarding, it's dangerous. my head so hard earlier, I feel like I can't see straight. 
Peter getting hyped up, it makes everybody else like so stoked. What? All of us, everybody on the team grew up looking up to Peter. <laughs> Sure, a lot of people thought he was over it, but he is far from over it. I still need 20 more shots on my part. <laughs> I think the whole motivation, or like the other half of the motivation of me coming back was, I, know, I, just, I had some ideas of tricks that'd be kind of cool and fun and different and kind of change it up from the usual. Yep, okay, I'm, I'm starting now, I'm going for it, I'm uh, trying to get apart again. Well, this year is definitely rusty. It took me a few months to, to get the feeling back again. I think that's what kind of made the snowboarding fun for me, having to think through certain things and kind of evaluate it while doing it. When I actually like, stick a trick that I know is going to make it in the video, that's a really good feeling that I forgot about. Riding the streets was, was new to me, and just looking at a city with a snowboard eye, anything's possible. If you see it, do it. It all works, and it's something very, very creative. A certain way. Always inventing new tricks, always going bigger and bigger and bigger. I thought I had to do a certain thing, which isn't true. It was funny, he made like a conscious decision. Some people just kind of like do a little bit less park, but Jake was just like, I'm only gonna do powder and natural terrain stuff. People were kind of like, well, geez, dude, like you're really freaking good at pipe and park stuff and you shouldn't just abandon that. And he was like, no, like this is what I wanna do. This is the path I'm gonna take. I'd rather be waiting it out in the clouds than go into some, you know, man-made jump at the park. You know, like, I, I've almost got a rule, like, if it takes more than five minutes to set up, then screw it. I'm gonna do what I wanna do out there. If I wanna go pop off from that and go do a slash, I'm gonna go do it. The mountains are just an endless blank canvas for you to test your creativity. It's the time. 
right now oh dude so good a million bucks man so stoked so fun it's fucking what it's all about dude so much powder this year it was the best it was the best year i've had yet and i think a lot of it was because i was trying to ride natural terrain just one more click better than shoveling for a couple hours and then hitting a jump, I think. It's just more fun snowboarding, you know?
Every day is a good day when you know when you're out with everybody and it's always popping, there's always everyone's always laughing. It's all your boys and you get to go ride together and then go film and go work together, you know. Every time. If you're not motivated, you usually get motivated by somebody else in the crew. So Yeah, Eddie, dude, you got this. A mellow. It's just fun. It's fun times. We can make it happen. Like I got full confidence in the whole crew. You know? We're the new form. It's, it's some big shoes to fill, but I think we can do it. Whistler snowmobiling. I only came out with one black eye, crusty bloody lip. <laughs> my neck feels like I swallowed a vibrator and got stuck in my throat. It's pretty stiff. <laughs> Other than that, I feel good. <laughs> Had a little headache, minor, a couple of bill. Eddie, you forgot to put your snowboard on. Oh, hey, hold on. I forgot to put my snowboard on. Hang on. <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah, it's my new sled. Ski Doo Renegade 09 prototype. Testing it out for uh, for you guys. Well, I'm well, sure. Fine. You can't say no to her. Look at her face and say no. Do you want a vulture at all? Do you want it out to the plane? No, it's okay. Yeah. This guy. We're going Travis Logan. Can't show anyone that. <laughs> Please. It might be a chick sport. How can you tell? <laughs> Put 
what's down there? It's the abyss. A couple other snowmobiles. I think I see one. <laughs>